What's going on YouTube? My name is Cool Ninja Guy. Today I'm showing you the blur transition, which you just saw. I use this a lot in edits. But what you'll need, you'll need two clips. Uh, you don't need to pre-render anything out. But you just have the two clips. Uh, I remove the audio just because I prefer it that way, usually in montages. You remove the game audio um, and use the sniper sounds or whatever. But um, you'll have two clips, you know. And um, what you're going to want to do is I do it. You usually have them in the same thing like this. You need another uh, video track. So you're going to want to go 20 frames back, I have that 20 frames, split the clip and drag it up into the second part from the first clip and then drag it right there, split it again. So now you have these two segments that are both 20, um, 20 frames each. So what you're going to want to do now is for the first one it's ending, so drag it from the end and for the first one, or from the, from the second video, drag that as a fade in. So now if you'll see that you just play it through, fade right in. Uh, I didn't even see anything because my computer's laggy and I'm rendering something. But uh, they would just fade out, which would be the same as dragging the clips together. But what you do, go to effects, linear blur, drag on default. Um, you can change the angle to your or, uh, to your preference. I prefer just keep it at zero or you can do whatever. But what you do is you keyframe the amount. Go to, um, so you'll drag to 10 frames, which will be the center of this clip. Make a keyframe. I like to drag this up to about 0.5. You'll see now that only the first clip is blurry. You can see the second one under it. Go to the end, drag this to zero. So now it builds up, uh, blur builds up. Oh, I don't want that keyframe there. So it blurs up and then blurs away. But it also fades away. And you do this for the same on the second amount. Make a keyframe in the middle, drag it to 0.5 or whatever you're liking. Now you'll see it's blurred. Drag it to the end, and then put it at zero. So now, if you pre-render this out, I'm gonna get rid of the audio. Actually, yeah, just make it another audio track. Solo it. There we go. So we'll be able to hear that. Pre-render this out as much as you can using Shift and B. Now, see, there's a blur, not in real time though. And go through the clips. And look, now we play through. See, it blurs right there. Very, very, very nice transition. I use a lot in edits. Um, you guys can do it now too, it's easier than just fading out or going straight to the next clip. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button below, subscribe button up top, and thank you guys for watching, my name is Cool Ninja Guy, and I'm out, adios.